I'm going to do a demo review of uh, a game between me and Redger on Sinister. This game happened about five days ago, and it was the third map that we played. I think on the other two maps he he beat me pretty convincingly. He probably destroyed me. Um, uh, I thought this was a good match to review because uh, we both made some crucial mistakes, um, and it really could have gone either way. And so there's a lot to talk about. Let's go. Prepare to fight. A nice goofy Three, chat. Two, one, fight. Right, so I get this weird spawn. I don't know if this is a common spawn to have. I don't think it is. I feel like I never get this spawn. And I'm ashamed to say that I don't uh, know what you're officially meant to do off the spawns. But what I would do, the first thing that I thought of was just going up here, taking uh, the rocket launcher, seeing if he's at Mega. If he is at Mega, I can just walk back and j rocket jump to Red. Because all he'd have is a, a railgun. So I'd be able to take Red without dying. He isn't here. And so what I'm thinking now is, well, that means I can hopefully... Um, if I find out where he is, I can get the, the top yellow and the, the rail gun. And then he jumps down, and uh, I don't hit that rocket. I really would have liked to. Um, I think this is a really weird start to a game. I don't think this has happened before. Not to me. Um, and so we were both sort of just... I don't know. We, we didn't practice for this, you know. Uh, I really didn't expect him to be jumping down to that railgun there. And, um, it shows. I mean, we both miss a lot of... We both miss all our rockets. I hit two good ones. Um, and then... I really should have stuck with, um, rocket launcher there, but I really thought he was going to go up the jump pad. So I shot the... the last rocket up the jump pad, and, um switch to, to machine gun instead. I think if I had stuck with rocket launcher, I would have killed him with that last rocket. So, um, yeah, I mean, right now all I really want to do is get onto red, and I hear him below me, and I'm not entirely sure where he is, so I think he might be walking up to, to red already, if he's quick. Um, but now I've just heard him come through the, the teleporter, so I know that I can jump across and get red when it's up. And he happens to be right behind that pole when I jump across, so it's impossible for him to knock me down, uh, which is lucky for me. I hit one good rocket, back off for the health. He really should have exited. I shouldn't have backed off for health, because I probably thought I was railable, but I wasn't. And he should have taken advantage of me backing away for health to, like, get the hell out of there. Because I don't have rail right now. Maybe he thinks I do. I don't know. Uh, he should know that I don't have rail. And so there'd be nothing I can do uh, if if he decided to just walk out the room. But no, he goes down. Pretty cheeky of him to stay there. I know that this yellow is going to be up because it was the first... Um, it was the first item that I grabbed. And now, I'm not planning on getting Mega, um, I, I really just want to, best case scenario here is I get a rail onto him, and then I go and get, um, the lightning gun, and then take the top area, uh, where the top yellow is, because then I can set myself up for red again. I get the rail, I get the, uh, the LG, he's already up on the top area, so I can't, take it. What I think he's going to do is jump down here. I feel like um, this is me being naive, because he obviously knows that Red's going to be up, so he's not going to be jumping away towards Mega. And so I think, well, if he jumps across to uh, the Red Armor, I can just rail him. But he wasn't jumping across to Red Armor. I don't know what he was doing on the stairs. That was really weird, but I missed that rail somehow. It looked like it hit. Um, so, best case scenario here is I get a rail onto him. And that's what I'm gonna do. 
I do get the rail, I take quite a lot of damage. Luckily, um, I can also get this rail here, so it's not that bad. I know I'm in danger here because he can come through the teleporter. If he drops down, he come through the teleporter and be on my back right away. So I spam that rocket to make sure um, that if he does do that, he takes a bit of damage. Unfortunately, it misses. Um, and I half consider waiting around here and trying to defend the the mega health because I I have lightning gun. If I had L good LG aim, I could probably defend the mega health, but uh, I don't have good LG aim, so I didn't really want to risk it. Um, I do decide to go back through, because what I want to do is, he's probably not going to expect me to be here, most likely, and so if I just sit here with rail, <coughs> I should be able to just hit a rail um, when he comes to get mega, because it's up in a second, and then as soon as I hit the rail, go back and get red. He doesn't come for Mega straight away, he's like a second late, and so I take the Mega health, but he shoots the rocket, he shoots a rocket that sort of bounces me away from the teleporter, and he's moving towards the teleporter. So he's got the teleporter side of the fight now, which means he has control of red armor. Um, that's really not ideal for me, that means I'm out of control. If I had kept the teleporter side of the fight, I would still be in control. Or at least I would be set up to, to take control. Right now I'm pretty fucked. Um, I go for the spam onto the, the red, I don't hit it. Um, and I know that he's pretty likely to drop down and come through teleporter now. So I shoot there, it does connect. Um, and now I just need to make sure that he... Normally he would have jumped where my rocket was, but for some reason he jumped down into the water. I play a lot of games against Red Gur, so I know his patterns pretty well, and that was just an unusual thing for him to do. It was a good thing for him to do, because, um, you know, I, I don't expect it, and he probably had the chance of hitting that rail there. He tried, um, but he doesn't hit it, thankfully for me. Um, I just really want this bottom yellow. And then, if I could get some damage onto the red armor, that'd be really good. Unfortunately, I missed the, the easy rail. Luckily, I don't take any damage, though. I really probably should have. I can't really expect to get out of there unscathed, but I did. And then, somehow I have mega health now. I don't really know what happened there. Um... We both should have hit that rail. That was uh, completely predictable. Um, so now I hear he's down there. Um, all I can really hope for. I don't have. Oh, I do have LG. Never mind. I could have held this position more strongly because I have LG. Um, but I get the rail. If I can just beat him to red armor now. Oh, that rocket was really bad for me. Like, I have. I had a good stack. I had like 170, 170 or something. Uh, maybe not that much armor. But I had like 170 health and 100 armor or something. And uh, then he hit that rocket and I had a red armor now, but if he hits a good combo on me, then... Oh no, what's this? Alright, I fixed it. Um, if he hits a good combo here, then I really could walk away from this with nothing, or he could at least have a significant advantage. Um, he does hit the rail as well, so I'm fairly crippled at the moment. Um, the only way this can really work out for me is um, if I do some significant damage to him. He thought I was lower than I really was. Uh, because he jumped, he tried to jump across, I don't know, I don't really know how he ended up down there. And he's lower than I thought he was, because I just railed him just there and he sounded pretty hurt. So I decided to stick around. I mean, I'm not railable, so there's nothing, you know, there's nothing going on for me. And I ended up getting the kill. Um, he was just a bit too, I don't know, his positioning was really weird there. Um, I get Mega as well. 
I just gotta sort of work out where he is. I am annoyed that rocket didn't hit. He consistently like beats me to red, it seems like. Not specifically in this game, but in most games. He manages to take red when I have control, even though I know when red's coming up. So I try and have more presence on red. Oof. Well, if I'd been a little more patient there, I could have gotten the kill, I think. Because uh, he shouldn't have been able to exit, like, jump across that entry without getting railed. But um, I sort of spammed a rail and hoped for the best. Um, I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, Red Girl likes to take these lower yellow bits. Maybe I didn't mention. Um, he's down there quite a lot. So usually if I stand here, or stand back further usually, uh, I can I can sometimes get a rail on him. But that's not happening here. I, I somehow know that he's standing there. So uh, I spam there, thinking I'd get maybe like a 3 damage rocket, so I could know for sure that he's there. Um, I'm fairly sure that he is there, because uh, Mega's about to come up, and he hasn't exited the bottom part. I, I, I mean, I've, I haven't seen him cross the lower right, and so either he's gone to red really early, or he's waiting here... Um, ready to jump down onto Mega. He gets the timing pretty good. I don't feel like I can challenge that. And I lose both items. I can't really... I shouldn't really be here. There's nothing I can do. As usual, spam down there just to make sure. Right. Um, all I can really do here is uh, run away. That was a good rocket to hit. I've fucked up my movement. I don't know, I've walked in for a little bit. Got a tiny rocket there. Um, and I, I don't know when red's coming up. But uh, I decide to stick on it just in case. I get really lucky because he um, he runs out of LG ammo. Otherwise I would, I would definitely have died. And then he misses the rail. So uh, I have a chance here. Unfortunately, I missed, uh, missed his foot there. All I can really do here is hit rails, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I probably should have been holding like this position that whole time, and then just using uh, LG if he tried to push in. But uh, I'm not so much of an LG player. It would have been the smart move to do, but I just don't like LG. Alright, I, I can't really do much again here, so all I can do is run away if I hit damage. Um, I shoot that rocket too early, I should have had some patience. Um, I, I, if I was thinking clearly, I would have known that he wasn't going to come out of the teleporter that quickly. Um, I get quite a lot of damage here, that's good. That's like the best I could have hoped for. Um, and here's... I fucked myself, because I thought if I just get onto red early, um, I can probably get it, but he's caught me in a super... He, he came through the teleporter far sooner than I expected him to, and so now he's just caught me with my dick out. There's nothing I can do. If I try to run, he shoots me back. So I thought, you know... LG damage, maybe. So yeah, that didn't go so well for me. Um, this is a bit cheeky, though. I think I'm just like trying to suss out where he's going. Now he's gone back through. Uh, what I could do, um, because Red's up in like a second, and Mega's also up, but I don't, I don't think I know that. Red's up in a second, and he's just gone back through the telly, so I know he should be coming back in a second. Which is why I wait here, ready to, like, knock him off if he tries to walk back out and take Red. 
but red comes up and you know, I, I get it for free. Unfortunately, I missed all of my rockets here. Ooh, that could have been really good for me. If I'd actually connected with some rockets, that would have been a really good situation. But, I'm dead. Look, we've got four damage difference. This was also a bit risky. Um, I probably would have expected him to come down and try and take rockets, or come down to this area at least. Uh, so going up that jump pad could have resulted in my death, but I did anyway. Oh fuck, I deserve that. I deserve that rail. I didn't think he'd still be waiting on red though. But walking, like, I was shift walking across that um, gap, so I deserve to take that rail. He sort of made it apparent that he didn't know when red was up, because he was standing on it really early. And so I just sort of walked in and took it. And he couldn't really do much about it unless he wanted to just keep waiting on red. Uh, this is a weird fight. I really wanna... I thought he would, like, jump down to rails here, and I'd be able to, like, get some sick air rocket onto him. Um, that doesn't happen, and now I'm railable. This uh, bottom yellow is a lifesaver. All I really want to do now is get yellow armors. And um, this is a good spot because yellows aren't up for quite a while. This is a good spot for me to be and try to rail at. Because often if he takes red armor, then he jumps straight down and walks across this gap here. This, this uh, opening. And so a lot of the time I can hit a free rail on him. I did have my rail out, I don't know why. I think I was just trying to see where he was. Standing there with your... standing down in that bottom place with your rail out can be sort of dangerous because often if they come from above uh, you aren't gonna hear uh, that they're coming and uh, they're gonna see you and they're gonna be onto you immediately because they're just gonna drop down and be on your dick like, and you won't have time to do anything. So having rail out in that scenario can really, um, can really fuck you up. Also, I just didn't really want to make any noise. Because he didn't know that I was there. Um, right now, I'm... I do this thing a lot where I just, I just sit here and hope that the red comes up. Um, I'm doing the same thing as before. And, oh no! <laughs> It doesn't work out. It almost worked out. He knocked me down as I jumped for it. Which is a uh, good, good LG by him. I shouldn't have gone through that teleporter. I should have just backed out the lower. Bit. Right now I just gotta work out where he is, because if I go the wrong way I'm dead. And I'm, I'm probably dead here, but... I could have hit, like, a cool rail. Or a cool rocket on him, maybe. Somehow I'm alive. Oof. And he gives me Mega. Okay, that worked out way better than... Can I get red? And I'd return the rail? Okay, that went... I think, I think I was very lucky there. He sort of didn't know what was happening with the items. And I was low. So he was probably looking for me a bit harder than he was timing the items. I don't know. Basically he gave me a lot of things. And I managed to um I'm alive. I should have taken grenades here. Like if I just took grenades here, you can like spam them onto to Mega. And then I wouldn't have to take this retarded fight. But I win it anyway. Um, this should be a spawn frag for me. I don't think I get it. Because I'm waiting for Mega, I don't really want to risk anything. Like, I don't want to jump into Plasma or something. Alright, so now I've got good control. 
If I can go take some um, rail ammo, then I'll be yeah, I'll be I'll be in good shape. And I hit that rail too. I didn't expect him to attack so aggressively there. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting what he did because what he did was he attacked what I thought was too aggressively but it forced me to retreat back just for a second and that costed me positioning on red so I don't know if that was like uh, intentional whether, whether it just worked out that way for him I'm sure it was intentional um, I hit some good, good shots I should have hit that one that one was weird I didn't feel like it hit. I knew he was coming for um, the health there because he was super low. And so I, I killed him. Now all I, all I really want to do is maintain this stack. Um, until the game ends because <coughs> there isn't that much time left. It's like 1 minute and 20 seconds. So if I can just uh, take the Mega when it's up and keep just take a few armors, then I'd be good. Um, he bullies me off of off of the uh, the Mega health, and that rocket that I shot. Let's rewind for a second. This spam rocket that I shot really should have hit him, but I it hit the wall. Like. Uh, that was such a close, like, I feel like I deserved to hit that spam rocket, but I shot the ball. Um, so now I'm under the pump. He's got big stack. He's a very aggressive player. Um, if I can get out of this, it'll be a miracle. I, that was weird. I don't know. He dropped down. I think it was probably a movement error. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... I thought he'd be waiting on red. And I didn't bother looking down to see if the yellow was there, because I knew it would be there. Because, uh, he, he... You know, if he hadn't taken it, he definitely would have been there. And not looking down at the yellow... costed me, because... You know, I really didn't expect him to be there. I expected him to be on red. Red is up right now. And he didn't take it. He jumped down and took yellow instead. So I was like, what the hell's going on? Um, yeah. Oh, the yellow wasn't up. Never mind. But yeah, I didn't expect him to jump down. I usually do pretty well in the fights from this position. That was a good... Um, Good rail, good rocket. I can get a kill here. Um, if I just hit him. He, he should be one rail away from death. He hits so many rails, and I whiff all of them. And then he walks into a wall, and I still don't hit him. So I could have won the game just there, because he was really low. If I just hit one of those three, ra three rails that I missed. But, uh, you know, I don't. I don't hit them. Some binds coming out. Good stuff. Um, I expect him to go up this jump pad, so I try and hit a shot at him, but it doesn't happen. It was kind of risky for me to be so far away from the red armor when I'm railable, because if uh, he'd attacked me unexpectedly, I wouldn't have been able to get to red armor in time. Um, uh, I would have just died. So we're in overtime now. It's four all. Good shot. If he comes through, I can definitely hit a rail. Uh, I hear him go through there, so this um, yellow is mine to take. And then I turn this corner and I take a grenade to the face. And I go, oh fuck. That's not good. Um, yeah, that really screwed me over. Ugh. And I, yeah. Right now, I shouldn't have even 
gone back that way really, or I should have spammed him out more before I peaked, re-peaked that. Um, I still haven't picked up grenades, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I could be using them fairly effectively for spam, but I don't know, I'm just not in the habit. So uh, luckily he doesn't hit that rail when I jump across, uh, and I get the yellow armor. I know, I thought he'd be pushing in rather than just railing because um, that would be a more characteristic thing of Redgird to do. But no, he just hits the, the rail, <coughs> and now I'm extra fucked. Uh, my thought process there... So what happened? He hits this rail. I know he's gonna come through teleporter. Uh, my thought process is... I just wanna get to the 50 bubble as fast as I can. And I wasn't fast enough. Or I misjudged when he was going to come through teleporter. And uh, I'm dead because of it. And now this is the worst spawn I could have got. It's the worst spawn because he's down at the teleporter now. I think he's going to come through the teleporter behind me. He doesn't. But, um... You know, that might have looked like a retarded thing that I did, just jumping down there. But what would have happened... You know, it's, it's worth noting that Mega's up, right? So I... He was more likely to... To do this, right? So I was more likely to die by taking this path. Um... But if I just walked forward off of that spawn... Let's go back a bit. Watch me die again. Okay, so I get this spawn, Mega's up, he's at the teleporter, <clears throat> either I can walk forward and take, um, you know, I've basically got nothing in that scenario, either I can walk forward, have less chance of dying, and um, the closest weapon would be like the, the lightning gun, which is ages away, or the, the shotgun. Um, so I would have had nothing if I just walked forward. What I decide, <clears throat> what I decide to do instead is just hope that he comes through the teleporter behind me, um, which would have been a fuck up on his behalf. But it would have meant that I got the mega and a weapon and probably some damage on him if he had fucked up. So uh, you know he didn't fuck up, and I paid the price. I don't even get the, uh, the puddle at the top of the jump pad. You normally can, but he had no intention of landing on the top of the jump pad. Um, he was going backwards, so I wasn't able to get the pummel. Because he uh, didn't want to lose that mega, and he rails me off the spot. So that's GG, really. The rest of this demo is just me sort of <coughs> doing some shooting practice. But yeah, that was a pretty good game. But you know, um, when when I expected him to be on red, but he wasn't, he was directly beneath me, and I jumped down on top of his head. That, I think, is the, the, the mistake that cost me the match. And then there was, of course, missing the rails at, at the end of the ten minutes. Um, you know, getting that frag would have secured the game. All I had to do was hit one rail. But that wasn't really a fuck-up, because I just missed three rails, and... You know, you miss rails. What can you do? Yeah, um... I, yeah. Ne from now on I'll be looking down before I take that yellow. A, to make sure that it's actually up. B, to make sure that he's not right there. Because that is something that happens sometimes. Anyway, thanks for watching.